Depth of field. It's something we see every day and that helps us make sense of our surroundings. But sadly when it comes to CG art, it is oftentimes neglected, which makes the artist's chances of recognition slim and leaves them feeling like their work is missing something. Here are two example images that demonstrate the difference between depth of field and an all over clear image. The one on the bottom right corner has no depth of field, while the one on the top left has depth of field. Your brain automatically feels more comfortable looking at a top one as it gives you an eye as a place to rest. If I could pick three of the most important things that make an image realistic, I would say depth of field is one of them. Just look at these two animations. So now that I've shown you all of that, we're going to go ahead and hop into Blender. So I'm going to go into Blender now, and I'm going to make um, this Cycles render. And I'm going to go ahead and select everything in my scene and go X, Delete. I'm going to make sure my cursor is in the center. I'm going to go Add, Mesh, and I add a plane. I'm going to press S8 to size it to the size of the grid floor. And then I'm going to go to my right orthographic view, go into Edit Mode, and then go into Wireframe Mode. And then I'm going to B-box select these vertices, and I'm going to go extrude, then extrude again, and then extrude, and extrude like so. And we're just going to make a backdrop, like so. And then I'm going to go here, I'm going to size it on the X a bit, and then I'm going to enable smooth shading. Cool. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my front orthographic view. I'm going to go add mesh, I'm going to add a UV sphere. I'm going to enable smooth shading. I'm going to move it up so it's sitting right on top of there. Then I'm going to go ahead and add mesh and add camera. Move my camera up like so. And I'm going to my camera view. I'm going to pan back by pressing G. And then I'm going to select the floor. I'm going to size it on the X a little bit more. And I'm going to go to my camera settings. And I'm going to make this um, a, um, the focal length something like 45, zoom out a little bit more, and I'm also going to go ahead and um, give this ball a material quickly, I'm going to call this ball, and I'm going to give it a placeholder color like so, I go to my camera view, I'm also going to rotate this down a bit, and I think that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ball. I'm going to shift duplicate X, move it to the side, and then G, Y to move it on the Y. And I'm going to move it back to about there, move it to the side. And then I'm going to go shift duplicate it again. I'm going to size this one down to about here. Sit it on just there, and then G, Y. And I'm going to move it to the front here, move it here. And now we have um, this scene. So I'm going to go control, I'm going to go here to my render settings. And I'm just going to enable border. I'm going to make this 1280 by 720p. We're going to make it 100%. And down in our sampling, I'm going to make the preview 120. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to also add a lamp. So I'm going to go to lamp. I'm going to add an area lamp. Go to my front orthographic. Move it, put it here. And I'm going to go here, make the size of it like so, and then I'm going to make the strength like so, about 800, maybe increase the strength a bit more, like so, and then shift duplicate this one, move it here like so, maybe make this one slightly yellowish, and this one slightly bluish. And there we have a nice lighting setup. I'm also going to go to my world settings, use nodes, and I make my world lighter, like so. And I'm just going to enable my GPU because I have one and it's much faster. And I'm going to now start making the materials. So I'm going to quickly, because the focus of this is really on the depth of field, I'm just going to be really quick with the materials. I'm just going to go here, use nodes. Here's the material. I'm just going to get a shader glossy mix shader and I'm going to make the top one like so 
I'm going to get a, a layer weight like so and then add the Fresnel into here and I'm just going to decrease this one down here the roughness I think something like that looks good maybe make it a bit more red increase the roughness a tiny bit yep that's it not really going to focus too long on that and um, maybe make the backdrop white as well like so go to our world settings make it a little bit lighter no, actually you can't see the shadows maybe it's like that maybe increase the strength of this one like so okay and that looks really cool so what I'm gonna do now to set up a depth of field I'm gonna select the camera go to here where it says limits and then I'm going to go and down here where it says focus and the depth of field, I'm going to select a little eyedropper and I'm going to select the middle sphere because that's the one we want it to focus on. And I'm going to make this f-stop and I'm going to drag this down all the way to zero. So if we go and render now, we're going to see that these two are now out of focus and it is focused right here. So I turn this up, you can see there is no focus. And that's where you can really see the beauty of depth of field. It makes a huge difference. And a lot of times there are those scenes that just don't look right. And a lot of times it's because it lacks depth of field. Now, um, there's so many things you can do with depth of field that's really artistic and really fun. You can even um, make the eyedropper thing on an empty. So you can move an empty around and animate it. And the depth of field will interchange from the back to the front. And you'll see them all go in and out of focus. It's really cool, really artsy. There's a lot of cool things you can do with animation. I might even do a tutorial on that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and liked the tutorial. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please subscribe and tell your friends about it. Um, I plan to do a lot of cool things on this channel. And if you guys have any ideas to something you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try and get back to you guys on that. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll just um, let this finish rendering and then I'll show you. And here we have it, the final render and I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, 